plants are a very important part of the natural environment. They are the only living things that not only produce their own food, but provide food for other living things as well. All living things are dependent on plants in some way or the other. We shall learn a little more about these producers of food and how they do it. Parts of a leaf Leaves are generally broad and flat so that they can receive more sunlight. The leaf is attached to the stem by a stalk or petiole. The leaf blade or lamina is the broad flat part of the leaf. It has a main vein called the midrib going through the center of the leaf. There is a network of thin veins connecting the main vein. There are also very tiny pores, stomata, that is singular stoma, mostly on the lower surface of leaves. Leaves breathe in and breathe out air through the stomata. Leaves the food factory of plants. The leaves of a plant prepare food for it and are thus called the food factory of plants. What do plants need for preparing food? Plants need several things to make their own food. They need chlorophyll, a green pigment found in the leaves of plants. They also need adequate sunlight, air, soil and water. Photosynthesis Food preparation in plants Most plants have green leaves. Plants prepare food in their leaves. The process of making food by plants in the presence of sunlight, chlorophyll, carbon dioxide and water is called photosynthesis. Photo means light and synthesis means combining or making. The process of photosynthesis is represented as carbon dioxide plus water plus light energy that gives glucose that is sugar plus oxygen. How does photosynthesis take place? During the day, chlorophyll present in the leaves traps the sunlight. Leaves also take in carbon dioxide from the air. The roots absorb essential nutrients, water and salts from the soil and transport it to the leaves. The plant thus prepares food in its leaves. This is called photosynthesis, process of making food by the plants. How do plants with non-green leaves prepare food? Some plants do not have green colored leaves. This does not mean that they do not have chlorophyll. This is because they have other colors that overpower the green colored chlorophyll present in the leaf. The process of photosynthesis takes place in these plants just like in green colored plants. Where do plants store the prepared food? Plants prepare food through photosynthesis and store it in its various parts roots, stems, leaves, fruits and seeds. This food provides them energy to grow. The part of the plant in which they store this food is the part we eat. 
Interdependence of Plants and Animals All living things, plants and animals, depend on each other for their survival and growth. Plants depend on animals Plants depend on animals for carbon dioxide. Animals breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. Plants use this carbon dioxide to prepare food. They also depend on animals for dispersal of seeds which helps more plants to grow over a large area. Countless kinds of plants and animals live on the earth. The remains of dead animals along with matter such as animal excreta that is cow dung decompose to form mineral rich soil over a period of time. This rich soil provides valuable nutrients for the growth of plants. Animals depend on plants. Plants provide food, shelter and fresh air to animals. Animals breathe in oxygen that is released by plants during photosynthesis. That is why you will always find animal life wherever you find plant life. Also, many birds and animals build their nests and homes in and around trees. Snakes live in holes made in tree trunks. Herbivorous animals feed on the tender roots and leaves of plants nuts and seeds, fruits, etc. This is called interdependence of plants and animals. Balance in Nature We have seen how living things in nature, plants and animals, are interdependent. An increase or decrease in their proportion can affect the overall balance of living things on the earth. We can prevent this by protecting our plants and animals too. Man has cut down entire forests, thereby destroying plant life. The animal life that lives there is forced to leave their natural habitat in search of food, water and shelter. More often, they get killed or they die of starvation. Lesser trees would lead to lower oxygen levels in the air. It would also lead to death of animals that are so dependent on plants. Lesser herbivores will create scarcity of food for carnivores, thus affecting the entire chain of living things. We have thus seen how all living beings are interdependent and how important it is for us to maintain a proper balance of plant life and animal life.